What's going on everyone? One of the most common questions that I get is, Mike, how do you train your back? All right, one of the key things that I do to get a big back is number one, big compound lifts. So I'm gonna show you my favorite four lifts. The fifth thing that I do is I do a lot of shadow boxing. When you throw a punch, it activates all the back muscles into your back when you throw it, right? So this movement really helps you develop that very athletic looking and powerful back, all right? So I want you to incorporate these two things. One, shadow boxing, and two, uh, you want to do some big compound lifts. So the first lift that we're going to do is called the single arm dumbbell row. So what you're going to do is get a bench like so. You're going to grab a weight. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the weight in one hand, bend over like so, and you're just going to keep your back neutral. You're going to imagine to somebody behind you and you want to elbow them. You're going to just elbow, keep the elbow, uh, your arm close to you, and down. All right, only your arm is moving. Everything else stays perfectly still. You're going to do about 8 to 12 on each side, then you're going to switch to the next movement. The next one that we're going to do is going to really work our lats. It's called a dumbbell pullover. So what you're going to do is get the dumbbell, you're going to lay on top of the, whoops, you're going to lay on top of the bench, you're going to bring the dumbbell over you like so. What you're going to do in this position is you want to really focus on retracting your scapula. You want to create an arch in your back so your back is neutral, right? Take a deep breath, activate your core, pull the dumbbell over your head, and then come back up, and then down, and up, down, and up. When you do this movement, I really want you to focus on keeping everything still in your trunk. So what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to lose this locked position by going like this. You want to make sure your back is arched, shoulder blades are back, and you're really pressing hard with your feet into the ground so that your whole upper body is stiff. You can extend it all the way down and then up. You're gonna try to do about eight to 10 of these before moving on. The next one that we're gonna be doing is a body weight Superman, Superwoman. You're just gonna get on the ground and what you're gonna do is extend up legs and feet off the ground. You're gonna hold it for three seconds, then down. Up, one, two, three, and down. Up, one, two, three, and down. You're gonna do 12 to 14 of these before moving on. The last exercise that I want you to do is called a pronated row or um, a row on a bench, a chest, chest supported row. So you're gonna grab your weights. You're gonna put them on the ground beside the bench. And what you're gonna do is lift it up so it's at a, at a slight incline. You're gonna get onto the bench and what you're gonna do is perform the roll. Now, when you're doing this roll, I don't want you to have your uh, back completely fl um, bent over like this. I want you to make sure that your scapula is retracted, right? You don't want to be in a position like this because this is going to risk injury to your body and it's not going to activate your back properly. So you want to roll your scapula back, depress them, and then you're going to pull like so. You want to imagine there's somebody behind you, and you want to elbow them. You're going to do about 8 to 10 reps of these before you move on to the next step. So there you have it, my four favorite exercises that you can use. Remember, it's really important that you warm up with a little bit of shadow boxing. If you have a bag or pads, I suggest you do that. Then you move on to this, and this is going to give you a complete back workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.